Hello everyone, this is Ali Muhammad Shahzad Rani from IUR Framework team. I'm so glad to have you in this video, in this very beginning part of our instructions. We would like to announce you the IUR Framework with which you can do many things in the realm of ASP.NET Core. For a beginning step, we would like you to be familiarized with our IUR framework. First of all, you can see in our website, iurframework.com, the tab about that uh, we have introduced our framework. IUR uh, resembles ASP.NET Unix architecture which is both backend and front end template for your usage with uh, sort of issues like repository services models mapping reporting web api etc and you can use it in mvc mvvm uh, and any other sort of instructions you would like to do for example you can uh, make it with clean code you can make it with onion structure coding we can uh, use it in domain driven designs blah 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 and you can see uh, and uh, please note that we have written in in the site that it is for asp.net core 6 uh, and visual studio 2020 but uh, at the moment we are announcing you the uh, eighth version of asp.net core uh, which you can use with visual studio 2022 for your first step you can go to download tab as you can see and we have two plans we will recommend you for your understanding about our uh, system first download the basic plan which has uh, its framework structure and authentication issues that you can test the system and you can be familiarized with uh, all of these parts we have written here but uh, if you want to use it fully afterwards you can uh, submit to this part full feature and uh, tell you truth we can even use any custom driven issues and you can tailor any part as you want okay for uh, announcing and for familiarizing with this IR framework, you can come to this page, download and uh, basic. Okay, pretty simple. We just uh, tap the download part. In this page, uh, as you can see, we have versions .NET 8, .NET 6, .NET 5 in two versions, MVC and Web API but for 8 we have just uh, given you CQRS DDD web API version 1 that you can put download and take it okay so simple we can make your are you uh, 8 for example uh, it's a zip file okay and we just download it good so uh, my download is done now as you can see it's a zip file okay we can unzip it let's win run for example or seven zip no matter how just uh, we need to make it download it okay this is the Extraction. I'm gonna come here, and as you can see on the bottom of the page, uh, are you a project name SLS? 
this is a solution file uh, click on it and open this uh, as you can see my default id is visual studio 2022 and uh, you can select it as well uh, here we will recommend you to use visual studio to uh, 2022 because it's free and you can use all the issues you want so for the first one as you can see nugget wants to work on it it takes a little time depending on your system depending on your internet and uh, this is so simple we do have the IO project here good so as you can see we have some layers here domain layer domain entities layer infrastructure layer models layer service layer vast application layer web endpoint which we will go further to get introduced to all them okay for the first layer we do have domain entities layer okay in which we are just uh, putting our entities our project here uh, that we will test them all together the second layer as you can see we just named it infra infrastructure layer in the infrastructure layer we put together a common layer data layer and infrastructure layer which uh, were excluded in our previous versions the common layer were somewhere else and we have just put all them together here in order to simplify everything so in our common layer we do have shared generals and public issues which are used in all layers like extensions in our second layer in the infrastructure layer uh, we do have data layer in data layer we're just putting connections and communications with our database or databases uh, it's uh, almost dependent on your complexity of your system our third layer in infrastructure layer is infrastructure layer exactly the infrastructure layer uh, comprises of all infrastructures of our project we, uh, which we will gonna take a deep look on it in uh, our afterwards videos in the future and uh, you can see in infrastructure layer that uh, we put uh, issues for our command lines we put issues for pipelines we put issues for query and for reports which all of them would be analyzed all together in our next videos next phase of layers are here named models models layers constitute of some models which are used in our project accordingly we are just announcing them all but first we look in base models domain events dynamic aggregates and general models base models are usually issues that uh, we are just announcing and we are just introducing them so that our project will be uh, just the same for all issues we are just uh, describing them so that you understand the whole project uh, and we just here now want to make a big picture for your idea we'll explain all them together our next part in these layers are services layer uh, in which we are having two parts and two domains of services first is uh, background services first domain uh, which are our background jobs 
which we will uh, explain it further and the next are domain of services domain of services uh, include entity services uh, each entities we do have in our project general services report services and utilities all of these parts include for example we have made some uh, predefined you know a templates named accounting as you can see uh, we put uh, services here in two parts contracts and services in contracts we have put together all interfaces okay and in services we put the service file for example account role service as you can see here in contracts i account role service okay which is just uh, the infrastructure and the interface then we do have here service account role service okay that uh, we can implement everything all together as you have seen okay we're going just now to the next part next uh, domain of layers in iur framework is vast application in vast application we have three parts first are commands as you can see uh, our commands and command handler in the project the next part uh, is called queries uh, which these queries are uh, you know some uh, queries without paging simple queries for uh, some simplistic results uh, that we can say queries taken from database and results are uh, shown without paging for example a list of accounts of uh, a given user we can say or a member something like this that uh, these queries are not regular queries and not uh, extensive and not advanced some primitive queries we can say but in our reports we do have a system of advanced reports where these reports these queries in the reports part include uh, queries which have paging count and some other favorite concepts for using in grid systems that we will speak about uh, later and the last part as you can see is web endpoint this web endpoint this layer is uh, the system that we can use in order to understand the system in order to get runs of it in order to uh, use it and showing the result we are not gonna take a deep analysis here about it we just want to run the system so that you have an understanding uh, you know the big picture the uh, greater idea about this iur framework and we will discuss all these parts together step by step with you here in order to running the IO framework system we shall do some prerequisite issues first of all this uh, part in web endpoint we shall right click on it and make this uh, running as default you know set as a startup project that uh, you can see it's uh, bolded then in our package manager console we shall put this part default project in our data layer then uh, we can use entity framework core commands add can see migration add my 
situation, okay? For example, naming it init db, for example, okay? So first, IUR project name as a startup project. Second, put default project here in package manager console as data layer, then add migration in its DB. Okay, everything would be started and it takes time. As you know, it is dependent on your system, on your software, on your hardware, and anything else, these issues. Okay, it's taking time, just completed, good. You can see here our project uh, is built in our infrastructure. We can see it in our data layer. Everything is here. You know, if your uh, system is uh, vast and you have many models, you have many issues for your database, you can take this layer and put it in your solution uh, come here so that your web developers your program developer can work with it better otherwise you're just up to it okay usually you just put it here so uh, we can see that uh, this is the database okay in SQL Server, as you can see, we don't have database now here. We're just making in console update database, okay? And everything will be done and will put everything in our SQL Server right away. Done. Shall be on our SQL Server. System database will make some refreshes here, as you can see. Uh, IUR database and our tables are here. Hmm? Count, account, development, client, role, user, user account, user script, and good. Okay. This was our first part. We will just describe these tables all together in the next video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for choosing IO framework. And thank you for your hearing our video. See you soon.